Welcome to the Point Second Podcast. My name is James Keeley. With me as always is Sammy Schaefer. How are you, Sammy? Feeling great, James. How are you? Good. It's episode 15 of season two, available Thursday, October 17th. Sammy, there is yeah. breaking news. Ooh, let's do it. Okay. There is uh do you know who the uh, owner of the Dallas Cowboys is, Sammy? Um I do, but maybe for our fans, you should just refresh everybody. Okay. You don't know. His <laughs> name is Jerry Jones. Uh he's uh from Arkansas, lives in Dallas, he's a southern uh Gentlemen, okay. will you say? He was on, uh, after a, a, a terrible loss at home to the Detroit Lions, he was on 105.3 The Fan, and the host asked him some questions about the offseason and the moves he's made. He was very upset, very contentious, and he said he would get them fired, and he was not kidding. Mm. Uh, so we're available, Mr. Jones. We are good ass kissers. Yeah. So if you're interested, uh, we're available. Um, Jerry Jones got wind of this. He heard our Shannon Sharp interview, oh. and he decided to give us a ring. Breaking news, Sammy. Jerry Jones is on the phone. Uh, Mr. Jones? Uh, yes. Uh, it's James Keeley and, and Samuel Schaefer from the Point Second Podcast. Uh, how you doing, boys? Uh, listen, uh, I, I think it's very clear that I, I will have you fired if you ask me anything inappropriate or insulting or anything that is not very uh, uh, pleasing to me. Uh, we're going to try our best. We, we, we do ask hard questions here, sir. Uh, Sam's going to ask the first one. Yeah, uh, right off the bat, I know it's going to be a tough one, but uh, Mr. Jones... How did you get so successful? Well, that's a very tough question, Samuel. But uh, I was uh, uh, born fairly wealthy. I became more wealthy. And then I bought a team and got extra wealthy. Uh, you, but tread lightly with the next question, boys. Uh, all right, Mr. Jones. Uh, why are the Cowboys so good at lulling their opponents to sleep with their on-field terrible performances? We, we decided that's a strategy we like to uh, implement uh, decade to decade where we lose a lot. And then we try to get into the playoffs and uh, see if we could win one or possibly uh, two games. Okay, Mr. Jones, you're answering the tough ones. We mm -hmm. got one more for you. One more. I'll, you know, try to tread lightly on this one. But uh, how are you 82 years old and have kept your handsome looks in rock hard libido? I, I got to say, I, I'm an old uh, Texas uh, handsome man. Uh, I, I, I do enjoy the ladies. As you can see, some of these stripper pictures I have uh, that came out, uh, I was not extorted. Uh, I had these people taken care of. Uh, but I, I, I do like to keep uh, uh, limber. Uh, I had a, a very uh, intense uh, relationship with my former coach, Jason Garrett. God, I miss Jason. He was tall and, and, and supple, yet thin and strong. Jason, come back to me. McCarthy has not the body that you had, Jason. All right, I got to get going. As you can see, I'm a, li a little bit worked up. Uh, well, thank you, Mr. Jones. Mm -hmm. uh, again, we are available. We are happy to take on uh, anything that you need us to do. Uh, thank you, boys. Thank you, uh, James. And uh, thank you, Samuel. I'm a big fan of your work. Hey. Oh, nice. Thank you. Look at that. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thanks, Jerry Jones. Appreciate you calling in. You seem like a real nice guy. Yeah. All right. You know, they say don't meet your heroes, but boy, that Jerry Jones, <laughs> what a guy. Yeah. What? So he was getting dragged in the media today, and they were all like, and Shannon Sharp was like, I, I hope they never win another playoff game again. It was despicable. Uh, but really, he, he, he showed, like, he dropped his mask. Yeah. Like the, 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 the real nice, like, I want, I want my fans to, to enjoy their experience here. He's like, if you question me, I'll have you fired. Because I'm a billionaire. Yeah, it's 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 tough when you see somebody wield that in real time. Yeah, I mean, some, yeah, some guys will will will, will kind of allude to that and yeah. laugh it off. Mm -hmm. Do it behind the like, scenes, maybe. Yeah, but he showed everybody exactly who he is. Yeah, he's a fucking asshole. Yeah. So yeah, that's old rich man bullshit. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, you deserve it after that loss. Yeah, you kind of had it coming. Yeah, <laughs> ultimate power and money flex. He's the GM, okay? Yeah. If he if he hired a GM, they would have to take all this heat, okay? He decided, no, I'm the general manager. I get to choose all the players, blah, blah, blah. He's, he's, he's just a douchebag. Mm -hmm. So I always kind of liked him because he was like this eccentric billionaire. Yeah. But when you see how he treats people that he could ruin their lives, yeah, he, he, you're done. Like, you know, we will not work for you, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> Come and get me, Jerry. We will not work for you. Love is the power. Can't stand the criticism when he fails. <laughs> you know, I, uh, uh, so yeah, he and his team are, are uh, just, uh, they're, they're, Kind of a product of that. Like, he wanted too much. He thinks he's smarter than he is when it comes to running a team. Jimmy Johnson is the reason they won a lot of those championships, because yeah. he hired the right people, but then he thought, well, this is easy. I'm going to do it myself. Jimmy gets too much credit. <laughs> Enough of that. Sammy, what else is on the show? First up, Batman Returns. Uh, a new chosen one and Halloween hijinks. Can't wait. Halloween yeah. time, baby. Let's do it. Call it football picks. <laughs> 
You don't need a recap. We know what happened in the last episode. We're going right into college football Let's picks. Do it. Sammy, what do we got first? First up, number six, Miami at Louisville. It's Saturday at 11 a.m. Louisville is plus five with a total of 61. Yeah, Louisville won this game last season 38-31. to They're getting points at home. Uh, the Canes are 6-0. and They're playing pretty well. But they got they squeaked by a, a couple of teams. Their last game, uh, they were down 25 at Cal, and they stormed back to win 39-38. Uh, and then the, uh, there was a, at home versus Virginia Tech, the guy caught a touchdown to, to beat the Canes and they said he bobbled the ball and the Canes ended up winning 38-34. Mm. Uh, Louisville's four and two, losing, uh, by a touchdown to Notre Dame and SMU in consecutive weeks. Um, they haven't really beaten anyone of note. The total up and opened up at 59 and a half. What do we got, Sam? We're taking that over at 61. A lot of points. Mm-hmm. I think the Canes could put up 45 on their own. 61. I mean, people are jumping on it. What's the next game? All right, number 12, Notre Dame at Georgia Tech. It's 2.30 p.m. Georgia Tech is plus 12 with a total at 49. Okay. Uh, Notre Dame has been on a tear since losing to Northern Illinois, 14-16 to on September 7th. Uh, they're 5-1 of the season. It's still in the conversation of the playoff. They're the number 12 team. There's 12 teams in the playoff. Pretty crazy. Their quarterback, uh, Riley Leonard, that Duke transfer, is playing well and looks a little bit more comfortable in the offense. I, I, I think he's getting settled in. He's had some injury problems, too, but it looks like he's healthy. Georgia Tech's 5-2. and two. They beat uh, Duke and UNC the last two weeks. Who are we taking, Sammy? Notre Dame team total over 30 and a half. Let's get those points there. Yeah. I kind of I like this one a lot. Mm-hmm. I think they score uh, 35 to 38. Uh, last but not least. All what, right. What last big. Number five, jo- uh, number five, Georgia at number one, Texas. It's 6.30 p.m. Georgia is plus five with a total at 55. Yeah. This one should be solid or maybe it's not. Georgia got crushed in the first half versus Bama, uh, but ended up losing. Uh, they stormed back in the second half, but ended up losing by a touchdown. Uh, and then they beat Miss State 41-31 last weekend. Texas is crushing people. Handle everyone with ease. They crushed... Uh, Oklahoma last week. Oklahoma only scored three points in the Red oh, River shootout. Man. It was 34 to 3. But Georgia plus five. Georgia. Georgia was number one early. Uh, they only lost to Bama, and maybe it was a fluke. Mm-hmm. I don't know. What do we got? We're taking it over at 55. 55. It opened at 53 and a half. It's going up at 56 now. We got it at 55. Wow. So, uh, yeah, uh, that's three. We went two and one last weekend. Keep it rolling, Sammy. Yep. I see three and oh easily. Yeah. Easily. Easy. <laughs> NFL picks coming up. NFL picks. All right, Sam, some uh, action happened in the uh, uh, NFL. Did, did you see there were some trades? I did hear about some trades, but I do not know off the top of my head. No. God, you, the preparation you put in. I did actually show. hear about some trades, but like literally forgot them. Yeah. Uh, I, was, I was reading the news on NFL today. So the dread, the Jets, uh, the dreadful Jets is what I was saying. The Dreads. The Jets traded a conditional third round pick uh, to the Raiders for Devontae Adams. It becomes a second round pick if Adams is a first or second team AP All Pro, or if he's on the active roster for the AFC Championship uh, game or Super Bowl. Uh, the Super Bowl ain't happening. Just so you know, Jets. Fans. No, don't get your hopes up. Uh, you heard it here, Jets fans. <laughs> yeah, and the Jets are paying all the remaining salary. The Raiders are off the hook. Uh, Baby Rogers got what he wants. Mm-hmm. He got his he got a, a his giant contract. He got all the toys in the arsenal. He gets every excuse thrown out the window. He hung uh, his wide receiver Mike Williams out to dry, uh, and now he gets rewarded. And he got his coach fired. Oh god, so good job. And he lied about his his vaccination status. That one I don't care about mm-hmm. at all. Uh, D- D- Devonta Adams will be playing Sunday night for the Jets after a miraculous recovery. From a hamstring injury that kept him out of the last three Raiders games. That guy's healthy as F. He's fine. <laughs> uh, and the Bills traded uh, third and the seventh pick to Cleveland for a six-round pick and Amari Cooper. Uh, Amari Cooper's a great wide receiver from the University of Alabama. He's a Bama boy. It's the third time he's been traded. He went from Oakland to Dallas, mm-hmm. Dallas to Cleveland, now Cleveland to Buffalo. Very nomad. Nomadic. Very nomadic. Uh, and, and, yeah, yeah. Um, What's going on in Cleveland? I mean, they signed all these guys. They paid to Sean Watson all this money. Sounds like they're having a fire sale. Mm. Uh, they're getting rid of a lot of contracts. They 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 might see the writing on the wall. But this 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 Watson trade is the most Browns trade that ever Browns ever. <laughs> oh my lord! But the AFC East is a uh, two two teams there has gotten better. The Patriots are they're building. They're trying to build back up, and the Dolphins are a sinking ship. Mm-hmm. So. 
Thanks a lot, Dolphins. <laughs> Thanks a lot, GM Chris Greer. You, you don't own the team, so you're not like Jerry Jones. You don't get to uh, shirk all this responsibility. So, uh, yeah. Uh, all right, Sammy, let's make some picks. We went 2-1 and one last week. What do we got? First up, Lions at Vikings. It's the noon game. Lions are plus 2.5 with a total at 49. The Vikings are 5-0. and oh. That's insane. Uh, week one, they beat the Trash Giants. Uh, but then they upset the Niners. Then they upset the Texans. Then they upset the Packers. And then they were a slight favorite, like two and a half point favorite. Uh, and then they beat the Jets with that as the favorite. Uh, the Lions killed Dallas, <laughs> 47 to nine last week. Uh, beat the Seahawks 42 to 29 the week before. They, um, they only lost to the Sneaky Bucks 16 to 20 a couple weeks ago. Uh, both teams look poised for a playoff run. This is kind of exciting. I think this is the best division in football at this, this point. This is the best our division's like ever been. It's it, it's crazy. Every team is good in this division. Yeah. It, it, well, up till now. So we'll <laughs> see. What do we got? We're taking that over at 49. Yeah, that one's going up too. It's 50 now. So we got it at 49. Like it. All right, what's next? All right. Titans at Bills, another noon game. Titans are plus nine with a uh, total at 41. Yeah, the Bills came on fast on Monday night. They scored 20 in the first half and only three in the second half. Uh... Titans don't look good. Uh, they're playing better than their record, but Will Levis, their quarterback, has not been very good at all. Uh, who do we got? We're taking the Bills team total over 24 and a half. Yeah. I'll live and die by that. <laughs> I think Josh Allen's going to start pulling it back on. He, he He's tearing up pretty bad teams. So, uh, And what's the last game? Uh, Chiefs at 49ers. It's 3.25 p.m. The Chiefs are plus one and a half with a total of 47. 49ers are three and three. Everybody thought they were going to come out of the gates a little bit better. Mm-hmm. Five and one, four and two. Three and three seems, uh, eh. They've beaten the Jets, Patriots, and Seahawks and lost to the Vikings, Rams, and Cardinals. Rams and Cardinals. Yeah. Okay. Chiefs are five and oh. Uh, with their, their, their biggest win being against, uh, Baltimore in week one. Uh, then they beat the Bengals, who are on their way back up. Falcons were playing pretty well. Chargers, hard to tell on them. And the Saints, who uh, came out swinging early, but look like trash and, mm-hmm. and their quarterback is out. Uh, Mahomes is playing fine. Andy Reid is calling great games. Uh, and the refs love the Chiefs. <laughs> Every call goes their way. Who are we picking? Taking the Chiefs plus one point one and a half. You, you, Chiefs are getting a point and a half. Yeah, that's kind of an odd line, right? Definitely taking that. I, I mean, it's legit. It's a you know, it's 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 in San Francisco, but you know, yada yada yada. Sammy's pick is zero five and one. Oh my god, this is a bad season. <laughs> You, you, you texted me your pick, but I got you a better line. Okay, what's the game? Uh, Texans at Packers. Okay, you said Texans plus two and a half, but what mm. do we take? We took it plus three. Plus three. You got mm. plus three. That's bought a, it up that's half a, point. That's a bingo line, but we didn't have to buy it up. It actually went up on the Oh, okay, good. Yeah, so uh, that's what we're doing. The dog of the week is Coral Mullen. Yeah, Look, I'm right. There we go. Yeah, there we go. There is Coral. Uh, Coral. No, uh, four and a half year old mixed breed. Uh, she was rescued by the Mullen family. She's a doll. Keeps my boy Kevin very happy. Uh, she and um, our guest picker, should we reveal who it is? I mean, I think the world knows, but our guest picker will be getting uh, this parlay ticket. Sammy, who do we got in there? All right, first up, Notre Dame team. Uh, let's see, I'm saying Notre Dame at Georgia Tech. We took the Notre Dame team total points over 30 and a half. Uh, second up, Georgia at Texas. We took the over at 55. And then the Tennessee Titans at Buffalo Bills. We took the Bills team total over 24 and a half. This one's got a hit, Sam. It's got a hit. We, we got some good lines. We got some good mm-hmm. numbers. 25 bucks going to win you 144.57. We're not even going to take back our $25 investment. We're paying them out. We're paying them <laughs> out. All right. We got to keep it going, baby. Keep it going full steam. All okay. right. We, we're going we're gonna to bring out our guest figure. We got news. Did we talk about Dog of the Week? We did. Okay. What are you talking Oh, we did it. We didn't. God. <laughs> For Coral, who is our dog? <laughs> so for Coral, we're looking at the Jets at Steelers, and we're taking the Steelers plus one and a half. Yeah, I mean, we're betting against the Jets. When you said you're taking the Steelers, I'm like, perfect. Done, yeah. You, you, could, stack the, you could stack it with Garrett Wilson, Devontae Adams, all that stuff. I, I just, when I see Jets, I can't even see it. <laughs> Screws up. You moved right past it. I also said Diddy was doing horrible things to somebody outside the White House last <laughs> episode. I'm getting old, baby. I'm getting old. All right. Uh, now, <laughs> our guest figures here. We got big news. Be our guest. Be our guest. Make some picks and win some bets. Sammy, we have our guest pick of the wonderful Nurse Faye. But before then, we have some kind of bad medical news about you. Um, Nurse Faye, uh, it just came back. Uh, Sammy, it says uh, you, you have wiener secrets. Um, you also have a lot of other things. Sex bugs. 
Uh, Nurse Faye is going to help you out here. I hope that is mostly penicillin and uh, a, a smidge of Purell. That is a big needle. It is a big needle. Uh, you're a big job to clean up, Sam. If we're going to get you back in the dating game, this is where it begins. I hope that's a rectal needle. Yeah. Well, <laughs> again, you have wiener secrets. <laughs> Uh, Phaedra Chantel, how are you? I am fantastic, thank you. Thanks Th for having me, guys. Thank you for coming back on the show. Yes. Uh, we, we have a leaderboard change. Uh, let's put up the leaderboard here. Dave Caro. Wow. Top of the leaderboard. Ooh. Dave, wow. congratulations. Jordan Kaplan, sorry, buddy, maybe next year. Jordan, such a good fan of the show, such a good friend of the show, comes on, got bounced down like the final week last year. That was rough. He cannot win. <laughs> do, do, do you like these glasses from this uh, doctor character I'm doing? Dr. PTP, it. let's call him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah uh, uh, the, uh, these are needed because I'm 45 and uh, everything's failing rapidly. I'm actually going to see a doctor tomorrow for uh, a, a physical. So we'll you see how it goes. this outfit to the doctor's. <laughs> Yeah, he'll be like, you need to go to the nut house immediately. <laughs> I kind of like it. All right, Faye, the number to beat is nine wins. Oh, nine and three is, is is what what old Dave got. All right, okay. let's go with the first game. Miami, number six, University of Miami Hurricanes at Louisville Cardinals. Who do you got, Faye? I went with Miami. What do you think, Sammy? I'm taking Miami. Same for me. Nice across the board. All right. Choose wisely on this current crew. <laughs> number seven, Alabama. At number 11, Tennessee, Fader Chantel. Who you I got? have to go with Alabama. I love that. You know yeah. James picking Alabama. I <laughs> want to pick Tennessee, but I know I got to pick Alabama. <laughs> all right, one. we're all on the same board. Yeah. Faye, number 12, Notre Dame at Georgia Tech. This seems like a gimme, but maybe not. I did say Notre Dame. Okay, Sammy? Yeah. Notre Dame. All right, we are all on the same games. Notre Dame as well. Number 24, Michigan. At number 22, the fight in Illini. I said Michigan. Okay. I'll take Illinois in this one. Yeah, I, I thought about Illinois. I mean, mm -hmm. Michigan does not impress me much. Uh, I did take yeah. Michigan, though. Yeah. Uh, all right, Faye. UCF, Central Florida at number nine, oh. Iowa State. Who do you got, Phaedra? I did say Iowa State. Yeah. Got to take Iowa State. Yeah. yeah. Yes. All right. We're, we're unanimous. You seem hesitant on every point. I know. <laughs> like, I'm like, all right. nine scared her. I did. <laughs> all right. And last but not least in college, number five, Georgia. At number one, Texas. Fader Chantel, who Texas. you got? I took I Texas. Took, it's took. a tough one. Gotta take Texas. I, I took Texas too, but I could see an upset here for mm -hmm. sure. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get into the NFL. Okay. <sighs> I feel better about so, these. Yeah, you like why. these better? I do. I All do. right. Dolphins at Colts. You know I'm a Dolphins fan. I Faye. do, and this did not influence my pick at all okay. because... You know, I love you, but, you uh, know, whatever. Likewise. Dolphins, though. Okay. <laughs> nice. What I do you think, Sam? Stop. I'm going to have to take the Colts. Yeah, I'm taking the Colts, too. <laughs> I've had enough. I've had enough, Dolphins. <laughs> All right. Texans at Packers, Faye. Who do you got? Uh, I went Texans. Okay. I'm going to go with Texans. Texans, okay. I took the Packers. You guys yeah. are you guys are Bears fans. That's a Bears vote right there. <laughs> All right, I got a tougher one, then. You can't, you can't bet a team outside of the division on this one. Lions and Vikings. Who do you got there, Faye? I did go with the Lions because I have some some people I know from Detroit. So. Okay. You got your Detroit people that you I want do. them to be happy. What about you, Sam? I'll take the Vikings on this one. It's mm -hmm. going to be a tough one. I yeah. took the Lions. Uh, I took the Lions myself. Titans at Bills, Fader Shins. I did take the Bills yeah. because it's another acquaintance. Oh, yeah. the Bills. The, I'm sorry. Let's go with the Bills. All right. I took the Bills, too. That seems easy. Chiefs at 49ers. This is a tough one. Oh, I went with the Chiefs. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm taking 49ers. I, I just I can see them. Someone's gonna take down the Chiefs. They're at home and they're favored a little bit. It's a tough one. Uh, Last but not least, uh, Monday Night Football. There's two Monday Night Football games this yeah. week. We're only taking one. Ravens at Buccaneers. Who do you got, Faye? I went with the Ravens because that is my Halloween costume with oh, my niece. So love, I had to. love, love. Yeah. Got to go with the Ravens. Yeah, I took the Ravens too. All right. Nine's the number to beat. I think you know you're going to be doing it. You, you, I like your picks because a lot of them are my I know. Picks. <laughs> I know. We're very, yes. Last year was very different when I was on the show it's, this year. It's tough. We're going to see. Know. Let me know what you think of old uh, Dr. PTP and Nurse Faye and old sick boy back sick here. <laughs> All right. Look and see. Yeah, it's not working. <laughs> Let's clean our act up and have a drink. Hey, you, you, you thirsty, Phaedra? I'm always thirsty. Are All you right. kidding? Let's get, Sammy, let's get Sammy back into having some other stuff. Also, <laughs> you got wiener secrets. All right. Are these game day drinks? Elvis. Yeah. It's time for everybody's favorite drinking game. These game day drinks. Mm -hmm. All right. We got Aphrodite with us today, too. Hi, Aphrodite. Hello, boys. Look at this Hi. one. What, what? Tell us a little bit about Aphrodite. So, Aphrodite, I am the goddess of love. Mm -hmm. And I come here to spread love and to share 
all the loving energies that I bring. I love it. You, you're ready, and you're ready for a drink? I am ready for many drinks. Without. I'm Greek, of course. You are, you mm -hmm. are. Sa Sammy's been to Greece, too. That's a prostitute term for uh, butt stuff. Different type of Greece. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and, and I'm obviously Roddy Piper because I wear a shirt that says Hot Rod on it. And Elvis is back there. Mm -hmm. uh, Elvis. Thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> well, perfect. Elvis, what is our first drink here? Well, we got Conjugal Visit Lemon Drop Moonshine. Boom, Boone County Jail Distillery, Lebanon, Indiana. Now, uh, it's a 50 proof lemon drop moonshine. Uh, uh, thank you very much. Uh, Aphrodite asked us to take this. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we're going to take this. Uh, let, let's let's infuse this with some love. Do yes. your thing. Do you, do you, get your apples out. You All right. Uh, you got a little one from a uh, shot glass from Paris, mm -hmm. City of Love. I'm an Irishman, so there's my shamrock. And this scumbag has one from Amsterdam. Yep. So cheers. <laughs> Enjoy. Mm. You know the rules. Um, 6.4 or better to be a, a, a considered a game day drink. Uh, I, I wonder if Aphrodite's going to give a better score because she's all full of love. Uh, so I, I think this being warm didn't help. No. <laughs> okay. Not. Okay. Uh, Sammy, what do you think Aphrodite gave us? I don't think she's going to call it a game day drink. I <laughs> believe she's calling it. A 5.7. Okay. I, I I think she liked it a lot. I got her at a 7.7. .7. Wow. I I gave it a 6.4. 6.4. Yeah, I think cold, it would be great. And you know, whatever game that you're playing. And it's called Conjugal Visit because even those in prison needs a little loving mm -hmm. when they're... They you know. do. You know it. Mm -hmm. Can, you, you're going to want a <laughs> Conjugal Visit. You know why? Because you don't want wiener secrets. Mm. You don't want... God, we got to stop. I got to stop this. There's some real wiener secrets. Wait, do they go? Visits. Do they have like testing and stuff in, 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 in jail? I think anything goes. After the conjugal visit? Like, like, uh, like, like STI testing. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. That's that's something you should ask some of your friends, Sammy. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I got a pen pal. I'll, I'll write to. That have definitely been in prison before. <laughs> uh, Aphrodite, what do you think Sammy gave this? I think Sammy gave this a 5.6. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think he gave it a 6.8. I think he's drinking this. I, 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 I did not like it. Okay. I'm trying to be fair because it was warm. I set a 5.1, but I'm going to go 5.5. .5, All right. Trying to play for it being if it was colder. Okay. But I didn't. I could not sit at a game and drink that. No, you can't sit at a game, no. but if, if, if you're scoring a touchdown and somebody goes, have this shot, and it's cold, I think we're drinking yeah. it. I mean, yeah. I'm drinking because I have to, but not because I want to. Should have chilled it. Yeah. Uh, what do you, well, Aphrodite, what do you think I gave this? <laughs> a 6.0. <laughs> okay. I Sammy? Think, I think you called it game day drink 6.5. Uh, 6.7. Oh, I liked good. it. Okay. I liked it. It's not that heavy. It's only 50 proof. No, it's, yeah. So it's 25% alcohol. Mm -hmm. uh, and it was good. I thought it had some good flavor to it. it so I'm in. And Conjugal Visit, I do think is a little sexy. Mm, very sexy. Let's do a Conjugal Visit. Yeah. Ooh. Like when somebody's like, do you want a menage a trois? And then you're like, yeah. And then you just hand you a glass of wine. You're like, oh. oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. What else? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, uh, Aphrodite, you brought something else for us. Ooh. I so did. Let's kill these uh, together. Oh, I killed oh, I, 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 I did too. Was... I killed it. Um, okay, so I have brought because okay, so the thing with with me, Aphrodite, is that which I brought you guys a gift. So the apple is my gift of love Ooh, to you uh, guys, and this is supposed to bring like really good luck in love. So I love that. There you go. For the teacher. It's kind of like when you have an egg for fertility for women. Yeah. Um, my gift is an apple. Okay. So there you go. And to to bring even more okay. love, I have apple pie shots. So this apple pie shot is from my friend Lacey. And it is Everclear vanilla vodka, brown and white sugar, apple cider, and apple juice. Okay, I'm liking it. So, what I'm right here. I'm liking it's pretty it. sweet. It's it's pretty sweet. So, Sounds great. So then we have an extra surprise on this, just because we all like a little um, oh, white foamy head on our shots. Oh okay. yes, we do. There we go. A little, little white Everyone foamy head. Oh, These two. These so two. we try to keep it clean. Here. You know why we hang out? Do we? Yeah. We, <laughs> yeah. we don't. Okay. So there's a trick to this because apparently this was brought on the show last year and it didn't work right. So Sammy, called, what is this? Go ahead. Go ahead. This is the I, whip she, shots. Whip shot. Okay, yeah. The it's the whip shots by Temperance Distilling Dis, Distilling in Temperance, Michigan. All right, so Aphrodite, sorry. please it's, continue. It's the, uh, it's there's the, a way to do it. Yeah. So you turn it upside down and you slap it. There you she shake goes. it. There she okay. Goes. The and then there we, go. we whip it. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
It's the, Look at this yeah. girl. It's the it's the, the the slap and the shake that I didn't do. Yeah, okay, there you go. So <laughs> I, I'm in. Thank you, Lacey, for making this. But Phaedra, before we started, I'm sorry, mm -hmm. but Aphrodite, before we started filming, you said this has been in your uh, refrigerator for a year. <laughs> and what else has been in that refrigerator? What is in this thing? I'm a, a, a father of three. Okay, this is the end of me. I'm gonna be very upset. You'll be fine. Welcome okay, I, I did taste it before we go. We're gonna we're gonna we're, we're, we're right, gonna do it. Guys. Cheers. Cheers. Here we go. Wish me luck. <laughs> mm. Mm. Wow, that whipped cream is like intense. It went down my throat, like my neck. Oh, like, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I'm okay. Having a problem. <laughs> Uh, mine won't even come out. Yeah, it's a problem. Okay. <laughs> Slap the bottom. Was that what it is? Yeah. Slap got it. the I bottom. Got it. Okay, so let's uh, let's score this now. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna shake and you slap. How about that? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Wow. Did it come out? Yes. Uh, uh, cream did. Nice. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. The. Uh, okay. 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 <laughs> uh, okay. All right. Uh, what do you think Faye gave this, Sammy? I think she loved it. Seven point two. Oh so, my god! Uh, six point nine. Okay, I had I did say six point oh because it is it's it's close to a game day shot. It's like a one shot, right? So yeah. I couldn't see. That's like a dessert shot more yeah. than a game day because you couldn't do like a game and have that. Yeah. Because you get effed up like fast. Mm -hmm. Lacey, it's delicious, but it's. Not a whole like oh, I a whole. That's true. A, it's it's not a Everclear. it's not a whole game. If you're watching a whole football game, it, it wouldn't be the first time I woke up in a bush. Yeah, yeah. Well, me neither. Double entendres. Uh, what what did Sammy give this? Okay, I thought that Sam gave this a six point two. Uh, I think he gave this a six point four. I think it qualifies. For I love this. Seven point five. <laughs> <laughs> Right. I always drink that whole bottle for a you game can, and you wake can, up in some You can backyard. have this one because I have a whole other one at home, oh, so I, I can it. gift it to Lacey, you. Lacey, it was really good. Okay, and what do you think I gave this? <laughs> I said it's 6.4. 5.9. I don't think you enjoyed it at all. 6.0. Oh, and, and, and it's because I'm sure Lacey's a wonderful person, but this is so strong. <laughs> yes. Like, this is so strong. If you had two of these, you would miss all of the games. There is no way. He curled up on his couch with his. And I am a <laughs> giant man who is no stranger to booze, and that is something else. Don't get th these two. Oh god. Oh, I think we're gonna have to bring this to camp next year. Yeah, oh god. And, and what camp news, would that be? You know, my camp. The, the nudist camp. camp. She goes there too. I do. Uh huh. They share rooms together. Imagine a bunch of nudists on Everclear. Oh yeah. Oh, oh my god. It's gonna be a night. I'm staying Freezer in the suburbs. Than shrooms. <laughs> yeah, shrooms. All this stuff. I think the Everclear drink would make people cr like be hallucinating more. Mm -hmm. I just got this out. This is special. Be be before we were doing this, I just got done coaching uh, children playing soft. <laughs> Ball. So this is quite the juxtaposition. So, We're still like children and we just talk about adult things. We sure do. This has been a fascinating, <laughs> fascinating segment of these game day drinks. Thank you, Elvis. Thank you, Aphrodite. You're welcome. Good luck to me. All right, we got to get to the news in a second, but we have a very attractive cat here. Meow. All right. And Ira the pirate. I'm back. And I'm phoning in as Tony Clifton. I'm really phoning in. I have things to do. I have to host here, all right? You guys are the eye candy and the, the color commentating. There we go. Sammy. I, he was pointing to me about the color com commentary just so you I know. was going to say, I saw like, your face. He, would, no, he was talking about me. I thought he was going to, I thought he was the eye candy in this whole thing. And he just like, I wish. totally was giving it up. I wish. You guys, you guys are. This is like, you're the whole reason why I was to show, James. Ah, uh, mm. that's what I needed to hear. That's good for my self-esteem. And now let me get old lady glasses on <laughs> and ruin it for you. Sammy, what else is in the news? All right. Alex Van Halen said a reunion tour was canceled in 2022 because David Lee Roth refused to pay tribute to Eddie Van Halen. Yeah. So uh, Alex Van Halen said the remaining members of the band began rehearsals for the 2022 tour, uh, which would have featured Joe Satriani guitar. So, you know, great. But uh, things turned sour when David Lee Roth, known for turning things sour, uh, refused to dedicate part of the gig to showing old footage of Eddie Van Halen playing guitar. I guess he was like... Nope, not on my watch. That's such a stupid thing to do. <laughs> I, I, why would he be that difficult? The band was named after him. Right. And he was the one that said, because they wanted to name it Mammoth. They're like, our Alex and Eddie were like, our band name is Mammoth. 
And he's like, you should name it Van Halen. It's way more cool. I'm like, Mammoth! And he's like, listen, Van Halen's the way. And now he's like, ah, nah. We, we're not gonna, we're not gonna uh, honor the, you know, virtuoso legend that was Eddie Van Halen. Uh, Eddie died when he was 65 a couple of years ago from, uh, uh, I think, throat cancer, lung, lung cancer. cancer. Unfortunately, yeah. Uh, um, Alex Van Halen said the thing that broke the camel's back uh, was I said, Dave, at some point we have to have a very overt, not a bowing, but an acknowledgement of Ed and the gig. And he said um, that uh, David Lee Roth just went nuts, went crazy. He said, we, we, you know, he talked to the guys of Queen and they said that's how they honored Freddie Mercury and blah, blah, blah. And uh, he's like, we're going to honor our brother. And, and, and David Lee Roth said no. And then Alex Van Halen went on this thing. He's like, I'm from the streets. You talk to me like that, mother effer. I'm going to beat your effing brains out. These guys, he's a good drummer, but no one's no one's thinking he's a real tough guy. So, um, so yeah, that didn't happen. But they came back when Eddie was alive and, and, and doing well and blah, blah, blah. And David Lee Roth can't sing anymore. No. I, I remember being in Orlando at City Walk, and they're playing a David Lee Roth song. Um, and I'm walking up and I'm like, that sounds like someone's covering a bad David Lee Roth song. We get there and it's David Lee Roth <laughs> <laughs> playing in like the middle of the middle oh. of uh, like, you know, just the corridor or whatever at like, you know, seven at night. Mm -hmm. It wasn't a good luck. He went on Joe Rogan's interview like a year or two ago and he's nuts. He's absolutely nuts. He's nuts. He's just not sane. Yeah. So, I mean, he did a lot for the band. He did yeah. a lot for music. For sure. Uh, you know, but like if, no one you're supposed to stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he's he, he, it's over. I don't think they're going to invite him back. Sammy Hagar was great. Why did they talk to Sammy? Yeah. Yeah. Sammy's on tour, uh, doing the the Van Halen hits and everything. And I I, I hear it's a good show. My friends uh, uh, Ray and Liz and and Dave went to see it and, and they, they they liked it. So uh, I got a fast five favor favor Chantel. Ooh. Okay. It's Van Halen style. All right. Oh, okay. If you don't know the song, just say you don't know the song. I but will. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you what the winner is. They they did some covers when they started go uh, started. Okay. David Lee Roth was the original singer, and they did some covers. They did Pretty Woman by Roy Orbison. I love or You song. Really Got Me by The Kinks. Which one do you like, Phaedra? You got me. What's the winner? Really you really me. got me. What do you think, Sammy? Wait, you want, which cover was better? Which cover was better? Because I didn't hear either oh, of those covers. But I mean, I... <sighs> Yeah, I have heard both, and I do like that. You really got me. Yeah, you really got me. It's the winner. Thank you. I think, Faye. you know what I did hear? That's the only one I heard is really got me now. Oh, I God. Know. I did hear that one. Hot for teacher. Teacher. I don't know how to say it like teacher. that. Hot for teacher or Panama. Phaedra. Oh, That's a tough one. Fiza. Uh-huh. Okay, wait. Hold on. Let me sing in my head. There is one answer. Okay, got it bad. So bad. That's a good song. Okay, um... Panama. I, mean, oh, I, think, oh, I think it's Panama. Oh. I think it's Panama. I gotta say Panama. It's I, Panama. Yes! Congratulations. Yes! Congratulations. Hot for Teacher is great. It is it such is a great thing. The video, the video the video was so oh, good. The coming of age video. Ah, the teacher. I, I was hot for teacher. You were hot for teacher. Woof. I know. I know. You're swinging. You're swinging <laughs> on both sides of the plate. Uh, we're we're going to go with the Sammy Hagar one. Okay. Why can't this be love or when it's love? So tell me why can't or... Uh, how do I know when it's love? I like that one. Yeah, yeah. when it's love. Correct. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, jump. Might as well. Jump. Okay, yes. Or What's... Dreams by, by uh, oh, Hagar. Jump. Uh, I, yeah, jump. Dreams. Oh, I know. Damn, but jump, I still say jump. There's nothing to jump except the music. It's, I know. Lyrically, it's, it's pretty good garbage. Video. It's, it's a good video. And I like the, there's been some like redos of it and like some dance mixes of it. And so I listen to it. I play it a lot in my classes. So. Yeah. Or, last one, David Lee Ross. And just a seaside seat and just a smoking and a drink and a ringside. Mm -hmm. On top of the world. Oh, yeah. That's beautiful, yeah. girls. Or, I shall love my baby's pound cake with Sammy Hagar. There's one right answer. <laughs> I like the lyrics of love my baby's pound cake. She'll love my baby's pound cake. <laughs> Ooh. Um, what were the two songs called? Beautiful, beautiful Girls. Beautiful Girls. Uh, it, it, it goes, uh, here I am, a man of the world. Yeah. I All can... I need is some beautiful girls. Uh, we're going to be I, able to publish this when we sing it? I, I know. Pretty sure you can. You're going to yeah. rip your album next month. Yeah. Um, I like think beautiful girls. So it's yeah. beautiful girls. It's pound cake, actually. It's pound yeah. cake. I show love my baby's pound I cake. I should have known the way you sang it. I don't, sang it. Heard that I don't song. think I've heard that song either. It's one of the greatest rock songs yeah, ever and one of the hotter good. videos you'll ever see. I gotta oh, look don't up. Even the I mean, it's it's called pound cake. Pound I mean, cake. Yeah, of course it's. Give me some of that. Oh, 
Okay. That's not my like. I'll sing the whole thing. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I'll sing the whole thing. I was gonna go thing. on a whole different thing. Oh yeah, well, it's talking a, about pound cakes. A, I'm like, mm, yum. It's a double entendre. Mm. Sammy, what else is in the news? Well, Michael <clears throat> Michael Keaton will be hosting Saturday Night Live for the fourth time this weekend. Yeah, he's. I, I didn't know he hosted it four times. I've seen him host a couple of times. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys, Michael Keaton fans? Yes. Love him. Yeah, yes, absolutely yes. good. I think it's. I think he's hard to dislike. I. I he, he he has more range than people give him credit for. Absolutely does, yeah. Uh, started out as a stand-up comedian. Did you know that? No. I think I did know that. Yeah, no. he was on, he, you could look it up. He's on YouTube. He, he did some sets and... Did you think he was funny? Because I feel like it would probably... He was good. actually pretty funny because he's got he? the cadence. Uh, okay. Real name is Michael John Douglas. Um, I dated, like Michael better. Yeah. Yeah, I, there was a Michael Douglas already. It was spoken oh, for. Oh, yeah. So he's like, hey, hey I got to pick somebody else. Yeah. Right. I'm Michael Keaton now. Uh, um, that impression is Batman better. voice. Yeah, Batman. Definitely better. Uh, he dated Courtney Cox from 1990 to 1995. I, I did That's know so that. He and his first wife uh, were married from 82 Ooh. to 90, and then uh, Courtney Cox came in there, and they were more than friends. I feel like she, she aged better than he did. Well, I mean, because she's gotten all the work done. She's gotten some Her work. face no, is like, I mean, no, I don't. I'm, I'm not downing all the things with the faces, but like, it just it's gotten to a point where you're like. How yeah. much more can it be like stretch? Like, well, I look girl, pretty. Like, but you know, it's fine. I was in Ace Ventura. <laughs> Is that her? Yeah, it's her best performance she ever. Was, she, was, she was. She was. She was great. Oh my god! I told you that. She was great. She was the only like real actor in that movie. Yeah, yeah. She Except Tom Loke was good. Tom Loke was good. Uh, Michael Keaton also had a fling with Michelle Pfeiffer. Wow. I believe it. I mean, did you see her as Catwoman? She, yeah. Fuck. So right. when Sean um. Young fell off the horse when they were filming uh, rehearsals for Batman, uh, she was supposed to be Vicky Vale, and she broke her arm. And she was also a world class nut job, so they didn't want her back. Um, they didn't yeah. pause production, and yeah. she went off the rails after that. That's a whole other story. Sean Young, really? Sean Young, yeah. Wasn't she in Ace Ventura? She was. That's oh my god! She, yes. she was. She was Ray um, Finkel. Ray Finkel. Oh she was Ray god. Finkel, the, the transsexual. Yeah. She didn't get a lot of great gigs after that. <laughs> yeah, that's a great. That's a great oh, uh, tie-in, Sam. Um, mm -hmm. So they were gonna like they're like we want Michelle Pfeiffer and, and Michael Keaton was like hey, yeah, yeah. I, yeah I got a little thing with that Michelle Pfeiffer mm -hmm. all right not gonna happen I guess he he, so he talks like Beetlejuice all the time he talks like Beetlejuice all the time okay all right I love it Good he friend. he was married at the time and I guess there was he was running around a little bit and uh, Michelle Pfeiffer was one of the ones who was running around he's like uh, I can't really have her on the set yeah so Kim Basinger uh, nailed she it role one too. and she was yeah she was a uh, very attractive woman back in her day. Married a, a nut job, a very talented nut job, but Alec Baldwin is oh, yeah. quite the nut job. But Michael Keaton's top 10 movies by Ranker. There were 1,200 fan votes. Sammy, can you read this? You got the, yep, the top got 10? Give me the 10. Number 10, The Other Guys. Great movie. You guys great like movie. it? Not Thumbs really up. his movie, but it. great movie. Yeah. He's in it, but his cameos are great. Yeah, He's so good. I, I just wanted to put it as his movie, so I'm kind of disappointed in the fans, but good movie. Big yeah. thumbs up. All right, him. number nine, Spider-Man Homecoming. I thought he was great in that. I That's thought that's a good Spider-Man. He played the vulture. I didn't see it. Yeah. Anyway, okay. did you see it? I did, and I might, I must have been falling asleep. Hey, hey Spider Man, <laughs> I'll kill you. Not, right not right. best movie ever. I mean. All right, uh, number nine, The Founder. Great movie, Roy Kroc. Great movie. He played. I it. didn't see you saw it. I didn't see it. He played Roy Kroc, the founder of McDonald's, as it is. You had it right the first time. Ray Kroc. Oh. Ray Kroc. I'm sorry. Ray yeah. Kroc. Yeah. I is it on? Like, is it streaming on? Something? It's. I'm sure it's on Netflix or Hulu. I hear it's a good movie. It's they, they ranked it well. Yeah. So. All right. All right, next movie. Uh, the Night Shift. I did see that, and I don't remember any. Oh, Night Shift is great. Is Henry that an Rinko's old, old movie? Yeah, it's like yeah. 83. Is it kind of a horror movie about the guy that's the grave guy? Totally not. It's about <laughs> it's about guys that work in a morgue, and they turn into uh, pimps. They have a bunch of prostitutes that they help out. It's a comedy, right? It's great, yeah. Oh, I feel like I saw a movie, The Night Shift, but it was like a horror movie. That might be a different Night Shift. different one. Yeah. Okay. What's six, Sam? Number six, Gung Ho. You guys seen Gung Ho? No. Really funny. Watch Gung Ho. I love it. What's the next one? Number five, Multiplicity. Multiplicity? I did see that. Is that when he's like multiple? Yeah, he's four different. himself? Yeah. He clones himself. He did such an awesome job. Yes, yes. I loved it. And Harold Ramis directed it. Yes. I love Harold Ramis. Rest in peace, Rest in peace, Harold Ramis, the best. What else? 
Uh, number four, Mr. Mom. Mm. The, 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 it's like you. One of the reasons I do this thing. Yeah. Mr. Mom made, made, made this it thing. Made it look so easy. Made it look easy. I was like four years old when that movie came out. Mr. Mom's a great movie. Watch great. Mr. Mom. Yeah. What else? Uh, number three is Batman Returns. What did you guys think of Batman Returns? I liked that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's good. It's yeah. not great. The, the penguin thing ruined it for me. Danny DeVito oh, is the penguin. God, he was so gross it's with his like, mouth and his he, mouth and the black. And yeah. Bleh. Danny DeVito played it so he well, but it was so, so distracting from the movie. Yes. It distracting from the movie. Michelle Pfeiffer is Catwoman. Oh, she man. is. She nailed it. She was so mm. hot in that costume. And, and a very uh, a, a under uh, under uh, recognized role is Christopher Walken's in that. Yes. I forgot about that. He was. He, he pushes Selena Kyle out a window and she becomes the Catwoman. The Catwoman. Hey. It's Wowie, a, wow. 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 <laughs> you turned into a cat. <laughs> I tried to kill you. You turned into a cat. Hybrid. I'm sorry, James, person. but you, she might have a better impression than you. She'll give you some uh, oh, competition. No. Wow. No, I don't. I don't know. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> it's dueling walk-ins. And it's, we have multiple walk-ins. There's a cat woman doing this. And the cat is doing the walk-in. I like it. I like it, too. <laughs> so good. All right. Number, number two. We're going off the rails. Number two, Batman. Now, uh, good movie. Good movie. Uh, Batman's number two. It's got to yeah, be. Yes. Uh, if it's not even number one. What's number one, Sam? I think you'll agree with that. Absolutely this. number one, Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. I think Beetlejuice is probably number one. I mean, that think? movie was not the same without him. Oh, Nobody else could play be. that character as good as he did. What do you think, Caster for Walken? Meow. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, meow. Meow, meow. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, meow, meow. Where is this litter? I'm feeling sick. <laughs> <laughs> Sick to my cat stomach. Uh, Toy Story 3 was number 11. Birdman, he won a Golden Globe I for loved it. Birdman. Yeah, it was good. I it was thought that was there. so good. Weird, but good. That was 12. Uh, a couple movies that were underrated. Johnny Dangerously, very polarizing movie. I liked it. I don't remember. I didn't see it. Oh, uh, it's very good. It's like from 85. Joe Piscopo's in it, so you know okay. it's good. Oh. Yeah. Little Piscopo. He was in some like darker roles. He was in Clean and, Clean and Sober, where he was uh, uh, in rehab for uh, addiction. Uh, mm -hmm. He's very good in that. Pacific Heights, where he played a sociopath. I thought he was really good in right. that. Uh, Spotlight, everybody liked about the Catholic Church. Not that they've ever done anything wrong. Oh, he was. He was in, who was in Jackie Brown? That was a work of fiction. He was a cop. He was one of the. Uh, he, he busted um, uh, Kim Kim Greer's. Oh. It, 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 there were two like FBI guys or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Uh, hey, Jackie. Hey, come on. Hey. All right. Like Beatles just? Yeah. Hey, Jack. <laughs> uh, uh, the Dream Team, that was a movie back in the early 80s that, that I liked. familiar. Is that about basketball? It's not. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> there is a Dream Team about basketball. You and Sam, it's the references. <laughs> it involves sports. <laughs> Look at this girl. <laughs> Just, Sam, do you do a Christopher Walken impression? I don't do any okay. I'm Why terrible. not? Why? Why? <laughs> it, it, it was, it's getting kind of worse. <laughs> Because <laughs> I can't stop laughing. Can I get one Christopher <laughs> customer walking me out from you before we go? Meow, meow. 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 <laughs> Thanks, everybody, for watching. There will be more of this crazy Halloween uh, uh, content coming up. We appreciate you watching. We want you to watch more. Follow us at uh, on Instagram at Points Take a Pod, X at Points Take a Pod, Facebook, all that stuff. Just watch. All right. Enjoy the holiday. Two weeks away from Halloween. Oh my God. Phaedra Chantel, thank you for everything. Thank you guys for having You're me. You're the best. You're the best cheerleader, so friend, and fan. We really appreciate everything. Thank and uh, we'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching.